Okay, in this video I will demonstrate the new features and improvements of Curate Science version beta 0.40. .0. So here's the homepage or the browse recent article page. First, we've improved the article card in several ways. Uh, we've moved the article type information and addition date to the article card header, which cleaned things up. We've moved the article card actions into a three dot more menu, which makes it easier to work with on smaller screen sizes. More interestingly, we now expose key figures in this delightful carousel, image carousel, and you can even cycle through the figures that the author has made available um, using these arrows. But if you're on a touch screen, you can even swipe through. Uh, and so I'm on a touch screen laptop. As you can tell, my cursor has disappeared. Uh, and then you can jump right in by clicking on it. And then you can zoom in using pinch zoom. Uh, you can swipe to the next image. You can share on various social media websites easily. Uh, and then you can swipe down to exit or escape or the uh, close button, all the keyboard uh, Keys work to advance to the next picture. And this is as beautiful on smaller screen sizes. So for instance, this is what it looks like for iPhone 6, 7, 8. Uh, and again, uh, this swipeable carousel is a very a delicious, uh, potentially even addictively delightful, which is what we want. We want to addict people to consuming science instead of untrustworthy blogs or other uh, celebrity fads and this also looks nice on tablets so this is what it would look like on an iPad portrait mode landscape mode doesn't matter delicious delicious deliciousness and so we also we'll go back to desktop We've made several other improvements to accessibility. For example, keyboard shortcuts. You click the forward slash, it goes to the search box, and then you can start typing and find an author or an article you're looking for. And then the author page has been improved in several ways. First, we've added this filter box so you can quickly find an article within an author page list article list. So for instance, you might have met this person, Lauren Campbell. Um, actually, we should go here. And he told you about a recent paper on sexual advances. So you type sexual. And then boom, the article is right there. You can dive in to the figures and then share it with your friend, telling them, look at these 3D surfaces, how amazing these are. And again, this will look as delicious on your smartphone because of course, you're in the uh, airline uh, queue waiting for your flight and so you want to show your friend the new paper that you just discovered and so you're on your phone it's got to look nice on your phone um, but more excitingly a new feature is that you can now embed externally embed any author page article list uh, on external websites right so Lauren Campbell has his own website like a lot of academics here's his website which is very nice academic hugo template i believe which is also mobile friendly but imagine if he could embed his author page from curate science into his publication list here and this is exactly what you can now do with one line embed code you can um if i reload i can show you it's not just a prototype. See, it's loading. It's pulling in his publications from uh, Curate Science. And then again, the same filter where someone can say, oh, I'm looking for that paper he mentioned. Boom, there it is. Uh, and the delightful carousel image figure uh, still works. And this is nice even on mobile layout. So for instance, Dorothy Bishop has a kind of mobile first design at her University of Oxford web page uh, and so you can see even in this narrow column view 
the author page article list embedding uh, looks very nice and I can show you again by simulating what it would look like on an iPhone 6 uh, just as beautiful and again these swipeable carousel where you can cycle through uh, the key figures so we'll go back uh, to Curious Science and probably what can be considered the most exciting feature is what we're calling full screen mode and so of course we have links to open uh, access PDFs so for example actually we'll go to my own page so the links are always on the right always on the right you don't have to look for it it's always on the right it always works you click on it and it works you can read away uh, and this is already quite an improvement over the status quo but imagine if you could embed these PDFs directly into your author page and view them on the same page which is what we're calling full screen mode so if you're have a large enough screen 1900 pixels currently though it's being optimized if you are on laptop you can just zoom out see i'm 80 percent zoom now and you should see these full screen icons appearing and then when you click on it uh boom you see the full text pdf directly in your author page and this is frontiers and this, uh, we predict, will become the new feature because you just want to make it as easy as possible for your reader to engage with your research um, and dive right in. Right. But these are all PDFs, which are great, but they're not meant for the web, natively speaking. Um, and so we can also view HTML articles natively within your author page this is a bug on frontiers part uh, they need to optimize for smaller screens so this is the actual html article that's embedded being pulled from frontiers and displayed on curate science or anywhere you're going to embed your author page so there's getting into double embeddedness here um, and html just scales better it, you can have interactive uh, charts so I'll switch over to our staging website to finish the demonstration so for example you can have interactive charts there you go like manubot.org um, which not just provides interactive charts but it also has these citation pop-ups where you can see uh, the different places the paper cited um, and again this scales nicer on smaller screens uh, you can also have interactive articles like an explorable multiverse where you could actually see the pattern of results for different combinations of statistical analyses that were also justifiable and then if that's not impressive enough um, you could embed interactive charts using for example Plotly, uh, which is a leading uh, platform, if it loads, there it is, where you can interact with the graph and your chart, but you can also zoom in to specific areas of your chart, and then even 3D graphs, which you can interact with your touchscreen if you have one. And this is what's being dubbed the article of the future. And different people are working on it, but as long as you make it embeddable, uh, then we can serve it up. Uh, and everything's going to move towards embeddedness, interactivity, animated GIFs, for example, to bring your results alive. Not just static black and white charts that uh, we're typically accustomed to in academic uh, context. Yeah, like that one, which is my own, so I can make fun of it. Um, and so... Um, just to finish, the full screen mode is uh, available on all pages. So we'll go back to the production uh, website. So the browse page, for example, again, if you're uh, zoomed out, 
uh, you should see these full screen icons uh, and then you can browse away uh, and, and spend more time on the research rather than on wild goose chases uh, chasing down full text links and uh, these other silly games that we have to play uh, even on the search results so you might be interested in bias you search bias and then you get a nice article list uh, where again you can jump right into the full text directly from the search results page or dive into the key figures and um, or the RRR page uh, to the registered replication reports in psychology um, are all there where you can look at the key results look at the full text PDFs um, and again spend more time doing science rather than chasing PDFs and chasing after uh, graphs okay so this is the conclusion of my demonstration and we're very excited about this but again this is the tip of the iceberg really we're just getting started uh, and so please let us know your reactions feedback if there are any features you want to see any other improvements you're after um, and we are now opening up a new group of beta testers if you're interested in helping us develop deliciously user-friendly web products for scientists please reach out to us and we'll invite you into the platform okay thanks for listening